Hello everyone, David Perrell here. Uh, I want to give you some tips on how to drive the new McLaren P1 GTR that is in Gran Turismo Sport in the latest update. Uh, I've had the privilege of being around these cars in real life when I was a coach last year at McLaren at Silverstone and I can confirm they are absolute beasts. However, I would like to point out a common misperception and that is that these cars are as fast as GT3 cars around racetracks and that is actually not true they do have superior horsepower but they weigh more have less downforce and just generally less grip compared to a GT3 car so yes a McLaren P1 will be at least as fast as a as a uh, GT3 car tracks like Monza where you can rely more on the top speed but more tracks which rely more on grip and downforce like Spa uh, the GT3 cars are just absolutely mega so an, a couple of things to factor in with this car the braking is not phenomenal so you're going to have to readjust your braking distances you want to get the car turned in as or rotated as quickly as possible as always but more so in this car because you want to maximize its strong point which is its power you'll see over there I mean the thing just wants to kill you at every single moment of a lap you'll find initially when you drive this car quite a bit of understeer and that is just because of the downforce the fact that when you get on the power you'll see that the nose raises quite a bit which costs you grip and it's just purely a result of all the torque going through the car and the, the slightly softer suspension so brake earlier than you think find your apex as soon as possible and as soon as you're at the apex make sure the car is pointed towards the exit as much as possible so you can maximize or you can get on the throttle as, as soon as possible and then corners like this happen here we're approaching almost 100 kph quicker than the group 3 cars in this game so you gotta brake quite a bit earlier and always when learning a new track like this one and a new car my advice is always to take it easy at first find your apexes and then work your way up from there once you're at a comfortable point then you can start crashing and then dial it back easy flat through this left in the tunnel but then I'm braking with a slight lift on the X on the through the right hander because the n the front of the car is lifting Ooh, this corner here is really easy to hit the wall the banking tends to fall away on the exit this is braking way too late way too late way too late and we just written off a multi-million dollar car so I was braking where you'd expect a GT3 car to break let's try that again sort of high speed S's here for the eagle eye those who are paying attention you'll see as you get on the power the nose is lifting up quite aggressively so be careful to get on the power before the apex because you're just going to push wide and into a wall on the exit let's do, try to do one clean lap get the nose in as soon as you can and then maximize or get on the power as early as you can for the exit up through the gears we're on racing mediums for this particular session I'm gonna break just at the yellow braking board here which is 200 meters turning in and keeping a tight line as much as I can using the power as much as possible to rotate the car but I'm not doing Tokyo drift styles maximizing the exit braking at 50 lots of understeer again but we are going so much faster than normal up through the gears down into the tunnel easy flat through the left small lift and or braking through the right just because of the bump there and now we're going to get to a tricky sort of left right hander which is easy to hit the wall okay slight graze there 
and then braking here at 200 meters to be safe down to second gear somehow held on to that the reason the rear snapped there is because I changed down to second too quickly braking early for these S's trying to find my apex getting as close as I can to the walls Whoa. and then getting on the power there as soon as possible for the run down to end this lap not the best lap admittedly but I hope it gives you a good indication of how to drive this car thanks for watching talk to you in the next one